a mother searches for her lost children, and only we can help. So I guess we'll help. Well, time for more My My Collecting. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more The Legend of Zelda a Link Between Worlds. Yeah, we're going to be doing My My Collecting, but it's not going to be the same as, like, last part. What I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to go off and go collect all the My Mys, as well as some piece of hearts on the way. And I'm going to basically edit most of it out because, honestly, all of it all together is going to take about, like, 10 to 11 minutes so instead of all the needlessly backtracking to areas we've already been before time for a little bit of an editing montage with me voicing over and post editing because th that's how it goes so i'll see you for the first my my see you then okay so first my 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 number 11 is actually on the back of your house use the mergeability and pop it right off My My number 12, tackle this tree right here, right next to your house, and pick up the next My My. My My 13 is underneath these tiles. You're going to need the tornado rod to get this one. Use your tornado rod, flip up the tiles, and hit it underneath is My My 13. Piece of Heart 7. This one is on the side of Hyrule Castle. You're going to need the power gloves in order to get this one. So once you pick those up, you can pick up these rocks and get Piece of Heart number 7. My My 14. The tree on the left-hand side of the castle, if you tackle it, you get My My number 14. My My 15, it's on this tree to my left right here. You gotta tackle it and then get the My My. It's kind of hard to find that one. My My 16, use your tornado rod right near the blacksmith shop and then you got it. Now there's also a piece of heart here. You gotta use your merge ability, go behind the house and then go to the next screen up and you got piece of heart number eight. My Am I 17, you want to pick up this cuckoo and then fly onto this house and then use your power gloves to pick up a rock. Uh, that one actually took me a while on my first playthrough, believe it or not. My Am I 18, the tree right next to the cuckoo rush, tackle it and then get My Am I 18. Now, we're going to be doing a mini game in order to get My Am I number 19 and Peace of Heart number 9. You have 30 seconds to collect as many rupees as you can, but there's a twist. There is no timer in this game. So I would recommend having a timer either online or a stopwatch that you can check the time with. Now, we're going to first start out with My My 19. Now, My My 19 is actually right over here on this wall. You gotta pop it off and then just collect it. Now, be aware, in the middle of this game, if you stay in that screen with the Mai Mai, that's gonna actually take up time. So pick it up as fast as you can if you're trying to go for the piece of heart and the Mai Mai. You just gotta move quickly. Now, in this game, we actually have to collect over a hundred rupees. And I have just enough and I'm waiting for the timer to almost end and boom. So, there's two things with this game. If you finish within two seconds, you get a times two multiplier. And if you finish with a second or less, you get a times three multiplier. So, the rupees that I have now will be tripled and I'll get over 160 rupees. And with that, that is piece of heart number nine. My Am I 20, go into Goalie's Forest, the place where you found that bag, and then tackle the tree all the way in the back. My Am I 21, it's right outside the sanctuary, but there's a lot of enemies nearby, so just be aware when you're trying to get this one. Make sure they don't ambush you, and just use your merch ability and pop it off the wall. My Am I 22, near where the potion shop is, what you have to do, dive into the water over near this bridge and pick up My Am I 22. My Am I 23, just one screen, uh, not southwest of the potion shop, use the merchability on the wall and get the My Am I. 
My My 24 is actually in the potion shop itself on the wall. I don't know why. My My 25, right here on this wall just before Zora's Domain. Pick it up. And finally, the last one that we're gonna get, My My 26, just right outside Zora's Domain. Dive into the water, and you got it. Now, what we're gonna be doing is we're going back to the sanctuary. So I'll see you guys there. Okay, guys, I am back at the sanctuary, and I've decided that I'm gonna head towards the Tower of Hera. Why? Because Tower of Hera is actually harder to get to than House of Gales. But I feel like the Tower of Hera is actually a lot easier to deal with than um, the House of Gales. I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion. Now, the Power Bracelet, no, Power Bracelet, sorry, that is a different Zelda game. The Power Club that we picked up in the last game will now allow us to access this little cape here which will help us ascend up to Tower of Hera, which is AKA Death Mountain. Ugh. Now, I will tell you this now, Tower of Hera Trek is not going to be fun. You are going to be frustrated. You are going to be bombarded by stupid shit like that little guy. I hate those guys. Ugh. I honestly do not like the trek up to the Tower of Hera, especially in hero mode. It is relentless, and it is just like a page out of A Link to the Past. I hated going to the Tower of Hera in A Link to the Past. Yeah, Tower of Hera was actually in A Link to the Past before, but this time, I can't tell which one's worse. The one that we're currently going to or the one in the past. Stupid RNG boulders. Now, we've already had a enough of the Mai Mai's, but there's still some up here. And random boulders, and by random I mean not really, and I hate these stupid running guys, they really just, they move so fast that you can't really respond to them quickly, and they're really annoying. Yeah, luckily for us, these guys turn in the rocks after you hit them, but still, hate them, jeez. Okay, now. If we come over here and lift up this thing right here, my am I 27, jeez. Oh my God, we did collect a lot of my am I's in this part and I apologize for anybody out there that does not want to see that much collecting. Uh, luckily I sped most of it up. Okay, new weather main. No, 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 we don't want to fuck up the recording. Okay. Now this little cave is just a troll. You come in here thinking some cool treasure, five rupees. <laughs> yeah, this mountain is just really bad. <sighs> now I'm, I'm thinking the reason why it's like this is the creators of the game wanted to give kind of like a perilous journey where it felt like incredibly difficult to go up and give you a satisfying reward. I mean, well, the thing about this dungeon uh, that we're going to be going to anyways, going to anyways, what? Oh, <laughs> that we're going to is that the Tower of Hera is, mm, it's not a tutorial dungeon like the previous one before, but oh my god, are you kidding me? Boulders, get out of my way. I need to use my freaking hammer. There we go. Oh, I'm sorry, it's just like, these boulders can also be a little bit of RNG where they just do not like to give you any time. Ugh. Also, these boulders that have shiny rupees are basically rupee collectors, if you want to get rupees. But yeah, I think that the creators of the game were just trying to make this journey seem perilous and more rewarding. Like, I mean, seriously, this is Ridiculous! Did you see how many hearts I got lost from just that boulder? This 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 place sucks. <laughs> uh, now the reason why we actually came out here is yeah we're gonna get my my twenty eight and luckily that is the last one we are getting in this part thankfully. Okay, but it does not excuse the fact that currently I am incapacitated. Oh God! Ah. Uh, Yep, I hate this place. I hate. Come on, come on. Yes. Okay, run, run like a madman and run into the cave. Oh, jeez. <laughs> My heart kind of stopped right there. Oh, this is not a fun part of the game. 
I really hate the trek up the Tower of Hera. I am an idiot. I, I'm really stupid. I even wrote in my notes, <laughs> John, you're stupid. <laughs> I'm really stupid for trying to take on Tower of Hera now. Uh, I don't know. I just wanted to get it out of the way because I hate the trek up here. And the sooner the better, in my opinion, because like later on, it's... It's not going to be any more difficult than it is right now, but hey, why the hell not? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, there isn't really anything over there. There's a chest with, I believe, monster pets, if I believe. Or no, that's the exit. I'm thinking of the other way when we get to the second level. Uh, you know, it, it's kind of perilous and kind of annoying. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this is the one with the chest in it and stuff that doesn't really have anything. Yeah, but just be careful. And I'm going up here with no fairies because I'm a rebel, and you know, rebels... Rebels are stupid. They also saved the entire world. Okay, yeah. Also, for whatever reason, these boulders also seem to, like, home in a lot. Yeah, okay, yeah, screw you, boulder. Uh-huh, you think you got me, but you don't. Oh god, oh god. Yes! Ha! <laughs> well, luck's gonna run out eventually, isn't it? Oh god. Yeah, yeah, take that boulder. You gonna home at me? Okay, so yeah, this is area over here. This one is kind of trolly. Yeah, that, all it has is monster guts. Stupid. Why'd I show it off? Because I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh god. That, that. Get out of here. Stupid boulders. Hey, you. Oh god. Hey, you. All right, we're done. <laughs> we're done. We made it through. Oh, God. Okay, now, just for this, we're going to drop down here for piece of heart number 10. Yeah, this one's just a, a little ways off, so you <laughs> got to pick that up. Uh, we have so much item collected in this part, but, I mean, benefit. You get fairies. Yes. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill up two of our bottles with fairies. We're gonna need it. <sighs> Come here. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Put in a bottle. Heal myself up. <sighs> Let's get the heck out of here. Jeez. Okay, and with that, we have finally trekked up all the way Death Mountain to the Tower of Hera. Oh, man. Yeah, was that my progress? No, because it is a recording always. Uh, that's like my catchphrase. Never save, never ever ever save. <sighs> but I think we're gonna end here today because we had to do a lot of stuff in terms of collection and we trekked all the way up the perilous death mountain and finally made it to the Tower of Hera. Next time we're gonna be taking on our second dungeon. <sighs> That was invigorating. I'll see you guys next time. Ugh. Tower of Hero, here I come.